Chapter 12 Save the Children Jay was travelling to Mumbai on a train with his family to spend his summer holidays there. He was very excited about it. He made lots of plans of what he was going to do in his break. He was dreaming of sleeping and waking up late. He thought about the good treats that his grandmother was going to prepare for him. At night when his parents were fast asleep on their berths, he heard a whisper near his lower berth. Jai flashed his small torch to see what was happening. He suddenly saw a little boy trying to sleep on the floor in the small space between two berths. The boy looked scared and hungry. Jai offered him a biscuit and they started talking. Jai asked, "What is your name? How old are you? Why are you sleeping on the floor?" The boy replied, "My name is Shantu. I'm 10 years old. I want to go to Mumbai." "But where are your parents?" asked Jai. "I don't know where they are. I don't remember them." replied Shantu. What do you mean you don't remember your parents? asked Jay. My father left me on a train while I was sleeping many years back. came the reply. Shocked, Jay asked, "How could your father leave you behind?" See, I come from a very small village. I don't even remember the name of it. I had 3 brothers and 2 sisters. We were very poor and did not have enough to eat. One day my father told me that we were going to the big city to find a job to bring back some money. I was very excited because that was my first train ride. When we left, my mother hugged me and was crying very hard. Then my father and I sat on a train. When I woke up in the morning I was all alone I could not find my father Jai was taken aback What how could your father leave you like that what did you do I got off the train and started looking for my father at the station Night came and I still could not find him Then I started crying and sat in a corner to hide from the station master i was hungry and lost next day i met another small boy who was selling paper soap on the railway platform said shantu with a little sigh shantu continued his name was dhruv he found me and took me to a place where there were many children like me some of them had got lost some ran away from their families and some were left behind by their families why would a family do that to their own child asked jay there are many reasons many of us come from villages some of us were sold by our own parents who didn't have the money to look after a big family Some parents are tricked into it replied Shantu But how can the parents be tricked I have eight friends to whom this has happened their father or an aunt was contacted by someone they knew this person promised their family a better life for the children they promised to send the children to school or give them houses to live in My friends were then taken away by that person. He later forced them to work in factories. 3 of them were simply sold to other employers. I have two other friends whose fathers just left them behind on the train. explained Shantu. What happens to them? asked Jay. A lot of things and often bad things happen to us. Some of us are made to sing and dance on the streets. You can see children dancing in the middle of the road or selling things at a traffic signal. At times small children get lost. 
to survive they join other children who work continued chantu but what kind of work can small children do asked a shocked jay with a sad smile chantu said many things but most of them are illegal i started working in a factory where they made silk we are made to work in factories that make crackers at construction sites and sari factories but isn't it dangerous inquired jay yes it's very dangerous we are forced to work under horrible conditions we work for long hours sometimes for 16 hours a day there are times when we are not given fresh food to eat i hated being punished if i did something wrong or was not working fast but we can't do anything we are all alone in this world so we stay wherever we get some money food and a place to stay when things get bad we run away to another place explained shantu i've heard that it is against the law to make small children work but it still happens nobody cares for us he finished what do you eat well it depends on where i am sometimes i go hungry if i'm working at a tea stall then the owner usually gives me the leftovers sometimes i even have to look for food in the garbage don't you feel lonely asked jay with tears in his eyes shantu replied very much i miss my family i hardly remember what they looked like for a long time i tried to find them but i don't remember where they lived i miss my mother's hugs what are you going to do in mumbai asked jay curiously mumbai is a big city when it gets cold in delhi some of us go to mumbai there are millions of children like us you know we'll find something to do soon it was morning and jay's parents were going to wake up shantu could be caught for traveling without a ticket and thrown out of the train so he had to leave before shantu escaped jay gave him some food that he had in his bag and his favorite toy to remember him by in the few hours of the night the whole world of jay had changed he was suddenly aware of many things that he had taken for granted he knew that whenever he saw another poor kid on the street he would remember shantu